I've been Tractor Power fans from the Red Power Roundup held in DeCoin, Illinois, and this is the International Harvester Parade of Power. First up is an International 1066 Carmel Tractor with Canopy Rocks. Here's an International 1206 Turbo Carmel with four wheel drive power. This is a model 682. Here's a classic Farmall 706 from the mid 60s. Up next, we have some special high crop cane tractors that would have farmed in Louisiana and Florida raising sugar cane. Here's a high clear 966 Farmall. Here's a 560 Farmall high clear. International Harvester made a variety of different size tractors. Here's a Cup Cadet 147 complete with the trailer. Here's some classic Farmall offset tractors. We have a Model B. And here comes another B. The 782 was one of the big cup cadets in the early 1980s. International Harvester was acquired by J.I. Case on November 26, 1984, and this Model 5388 would have been the next IH had they not become Case International. Hinsdale Engineering Department decal on the side and it has the Magnum cab that came on the 7100 series in 1987. In addition to the 66 series in the mid-1970s, International rolled out the model 1468 with V8 power. Here's an early one featuring the white cab. All factories in Rock Island, Illinois. The 66 series were among the last of the narrow front models. Here's a 1066 with that tricycle front end. Great looking 782 Cub Cadet. Here comes another 1468 with rocks. Very rare combination. Here's a 1466 with a six cylinder engine. Model 70 Cub Cadet. And a rare international wood chipper on the front of an 86. 76 model 766 black stripe decal. It's the only year it was offered in 76 for roll bar. Here comes another great 1976 model. The biggest row crop tractor offered that year was the model 1566. This is owned by my friend Bill, who is known as a Flatland Farmer on Instagram. You can check out this tractor with a cycle air planter on Big Tractor Power YouTube. Check out Bill, Flatland Farmer on Instagram. Nice 234 Hydro from the 1980s, styled after the 88 series. Here's a model 666, offered in the mid-1970s. Nice 
966 from the early 1970s. Here's a model 856, which would have been produced in the late 60s, 68 through 71. an 856 Golden Demonstrator in 1971. International painted these tractors with gold hoods to help demonstrate their abilities in the field and help sell the last year production of the 56 years. Here's a model 424 International, 1960s. Front wheel assist didn't gain popularity until the 1980s on tractors, but it did start to appear in the 1960s and by the 1970s, more of the 66 series tractors like this one were available with front wheel assist. Here's a model 1066 with four wheel drive. Looking 1566 with a Hennecker cab. Here we can see a pair of international Transtar cab over trucks. International Harvester made a variety of trucks and continues to offer a full truck line today. Classic 606, 1964. Here's two more of the great Wheatland style standard tractors, a W9. Here's your LSW style tire with V8 power custom 650 the model 100 this would have been the smallest model you could have bought in the mid 1950s a formal 200 here's an 856 Wheatland tractor Wheatland models had the rounded fenders and you'll notice it says Wheatland on the badge and international on the side instead of formal here's a turbocharged Super M Another international high clear. You'll notice it has the LP propane tank up on the top. This would have definitely been down south in Texas or Louisiana originally. Cup Cadet. This 
1250 Hydrostat from the 70s. Here's a construction adaptation of a classic McCormick Deering International Tractor. A special 1066 black stripe that is made from a classic lawn and garden style tractor from the late 70s. Here's a model 300. Comes another classic small row crop tractor, the Farmall 200. Here comes a Farmall 706 from the 1960s. Here comes a IH tow that we've been used to airports. We've got a Cub Low Boy with a mower on it. Internationally used a lot of Mott equipment for their mowers and sickles and different things for the smaller tractors. Another formal cup. Here a Wheatland style tractor. These were named the Cormac Gearings. This is an OS4, so that would mean it actually is a portrait tractor. Here we've got a nice crawler tractor. We have another offset, very nicely restored. This is a Super A. Here's a model BN Farmall with a parade seat on it. Here's a Farmall 340. 1958 model. Here's a Farmall 240, 1958. Here's a McCormick Standard I-4. Another McCormick Standard. 1949 W-4. Formal Super M. Here comes the Super H. International Harvester had demonstrator models and this one was painted white to help it stand out. You can see it has demonstrator right under the 1950 demonstrator on the seat. Here comes another McCormick Standard Tractor, W6. Here comes a custom Cub Cadet, set up as a high clear model. Model 128 high clear. 
Here comes a special edition Spirit of 76, just in time for the 4th of July, celebrating the 200th birthday of the United States and its bicentennial. More farmall tractors on the way. Here's a farmall BN with the parade seat. Here's a farmall Super M. This would have been the big tractor in the mid 1950s. The 1957 Farmall 350. The parade of International Harvester Power continues here with a Farmall Diesel B450. This year's Red Power Roundup is featuring 66 Series Internationals, which were built from 1971 through 1976. This one has dual wheels. You don't see as many duals here at the shows because you have to truck them and they're a little too wide for the interstate. Great looking Model 1066. Comes a formal C. Another formal B. Here's a Farmall M, one of the best-selling Farmall tractors ever produced. This is a 1949 model. International Harvester built over a million M's and produced five million tractors by 1974. Here's an International 234 utility tractor. Here's a Cub Cadet 982. Here's a high clear offset model 274 diesel. This would have been the late 1970s, early 1980s. I hope that you've enjoyed hearing and seeing the selection of International Harvester Farmall tractors, crawlers, Cub Cadet Lawn and Garden tractors, and trucks on parade at the Red Power Roundup held in DeCoin, Illinois. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what your all-time favorite international tractor is or the one that you like most in this parade. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content from the channel featuring international tractors that work out in the field, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.